Econ, he passed away at the age of 78 here at the Samsung Hospital in Seoul on Sunday. He inherited the Samsung crown in 1987 after his father, who was the founder of the present day Samsung Group, passed away. Under Econ He's leadership, Samsung grew from a company with around 7 billion US dollars in assets to more than 350 billion today. With dozens of affiliates, including the world's top smartphone maker, Samsung Electronics. He stepped down as Samsung chairman in 2008 after being charged with tax evasion and embezzlement, for which he received a three year suspended jail sentence before being given a presidential pardon and going on to lead South Korea's successful bid to host the 2018 Winter Olympics. Econ He suffered a heart attack in 2014 and had been bedridden ever since. But the news of his death has still sent shockwaves through South Korea, where the company now stands at the center of the nation's economy. The day-to-day -day operations of Samsung have been handled since 2014 by his son, the company's vice president, E. J. Young. A trial begins this week for E. J. Young that is central to the issue of his potential succession as Samsung's head. He has been charged with unfair trading, accounting fraud, stock manipulation and breach of trust relating to the merger of two affiliate companies in 2015. The merger and alleged fraud were widely seen as key steps towards the younger E succeeding his then bedridden father as the leader of the group. The trial creates a huge question mark over the future leadership of South Korea's most powerful firm. Jack Barton, CGTN at the Samsung Hospital in Seoul.